Looking for the best NVMe SSD but don't want to waste money on hype? Today, we're ranking the top drivers from worst to best. And trust me, the differences matter more than you think. Let's kick things off with the most budget-friendly option here, the Kingston NV3. It's sitting at the bottom of our ranking, but that doesn't mean it's a bad drive. It's just very clearly built for one type of buyer, someone who needs solid storage at the lowest price possible. The NV3 gives you decent Gen 4 speeds on paper, 6000 MBS read and 4000 MBS write, and for everyday use like casual gaming, streaming or light workloads, it's perfectly fine. Plus, its slim single-sided design means it fits easily into laptops or compact builds. If your main goal is getting into NVMe storage without spending a fortune, this one gets the job done. But let's be real, this drive cuts corners to hit that price. It doesn't have DRAM, which means performance takes a dive during sustained writes or random operations. Once that cache runs out, speeds can drop like a rock. We're talking down to hard drive levels in worst case scenarios. And endurance? Just 320 TBW, not ideal if you plan to write a lot of data over time. If you're building a budget PC or just need something simple for everyday use, the NV3 is fine. But if you want something that can keep up with modern games or heavier workloads, keep watching. We're just getting started. And hey, you'll find links to all the SSDs in this review at the best price down in the description. Coming in just ahead is the Clevcross C910. It's a step up in both capacity and endurance, and it starts off for the kind of performance you'd expect from a solid mid-tier Gen 4 SSD. With read speeds around 5200 MBS and write speeds up to 4800 MBS, it outpaces the Kingston by a fair margin. You also get significantly higher endurance rating, 1400 TBW, which means it'll handle frequent writes much better over time. The optional heatsink is a nice bonus if you're worried about temperatures, especially in compact cases. Still, this drive has its flaws. Even with the heatsink, temps can hover higher than expected, and real-world performance doesn't always match the rated IOPS. Random performance in particular lags behind top-tier Gen 4 drives. It's better than entry-level, but not quite enthusiast-level. If you want decent performance without jumping into premium pricing, the C910 is a respectable middle ground. And if you're still with us, do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe for more honest tech reviews. Now we're getting into serious performance territory with the Predator GM7. This drive offers a huge 4 terabytes of space, strong endurance, and some of the fastest Gen 4 speeds on the market, all without breaking the bank. Despite being DRAM-less, the GM7 uses host memory buffer technology to squeeze out performance that rivals some DRAM-equipped drives. Its sequential speeds are top-notch for a Gen 4 SSD, and it runs cool and efficient thanks to its single-sided design. If you're looking for a blend of speed, capacity, and value, this one really stands out. The trade-off here is still in random performance and sustained workloads. Without DRAM, the drive can struggle under continuous heavy use, but unless you're editing 4K video or running a production server, you probably won't notice. For gamers, streamers, and power users who need lots of space and solid speed, the Predator GM7 is a killer value. It proves you don't need to go Gen 5 to get great performance, unless you're chasing the absolute fastest speeds. Now we're stepping into the future with the crucial T710, one of the fastest Gen 5 SSDs out there. It comes in at number 2 in our ranking, and honestly, it's hard not to be impressed. With blazing fast read and write speeds that top 14,000 MBS, this thing eats up massive files for breakfast. It's DRAM equipped, uses Micron's top tier TLC NAND, and includes thermal protection features. Plus, you can choose a version with a low profile heatsink that fits into almost any build. Still, it's not perfect. You'll need a Gen 5 compatible motherboard to unlock its full potential. And while power efficiency is decent for a Gen 5 drive, thermal throttling can still be an issue without good airflow. The endurance is also solid, not amazing, but perfectly reasonable for most users. If you're building a cutting edge system and want something that feels truly next gen, the T710 is a smart pick. It's powerful, refined, and offers top shelf speeds without going completely overboard on price. And finally, taking the top spot, the Samsung 9100 Pro. This drive is a monster in every sense of the word. Whether it's speed, reliability, or build quality, it hits the mark at the highest level. The 9100 Pro is fully loaded with premium Samsung internals, including a proprietary controller and full DRAM cache. Its performance is staggering, up to 14,800 MBS read and 13,400 MBS write making it perfect for heavy workloads like video production, content creation, or massive game installs. If you're the kind of user who pushes hardware to its limits, this SSD won't blink. The only real downside here? 
price. And for most users, the performance jump over a good Gen 4 drive won't be noticeable in day-to-day -day use. But if you want the best, period, this is it. If you're after elite-level storage with no compromises, the 9100 Pro is the crown jewel of Gen 5 SSDs. It's not just fast, it's absurdly fast, and built for users who demand the absolute best. Alright, that wraps up our ranking of the best NVMe SSDs you can buy right now. If you want to check out any of these top drives for yourself, the links to the best deals are down below in the description. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.